A personal savings and investment expert has cautioned Ghanaians against Ponzi schemes in 2020 as this could derail their financial resolutions. Patrick Abankwaba noted discipline in applying the 50-30 rule is key in achieving the financial resolutions for the year. Many people go to church, 31st, we go to pray and all that. But one thing we always forget is that we need to also have a resolution when it comes to our finances. So in a year like this, 2020, especially election year, things that people should be looking at, they should have a personal budget. The budget will simply state how you want to spend your money. Don't expect a new budget in, let's say, April or May. It has to be now. If you don't have a financial budget, chances are that you'll be spending your money anyhow without a plan. So that budget is one. The other thing we also have to consider in the new year 2020 is that we need to learn to save more. Now the question comes, oh, last year, last two years we were saving and the banks were having issues, so I'm scared to save. No. After the cleanup that happened last year and last two years, things are settling now. So you can now have confidence in all the financial institutions in Ghana. You have to save more. The personal savings and investment expert stressed the need to apply the 5030 rule in order to stick to financial resolutions made for the year. You have this 50-30 rule which says that you have to at least spend 50% on, on things that you need and 30% on things that you want and 20 should be on savings. So that rule should also be respected. Another thing people should also look at when it comes to financial resolution for 2020 is that we should be mindful of Ponzi scheme. Financial schemes that will give you high interest that will be luring you into putting your money there. When you do that, your money should be locked. I also think that people should be mindful of financial news. Business news, how many people in Ghana even watch business news? People should be watching and listening to what is happening around. And all these things will be part of your resolution, not just your spiritual resolution and your business resolution. Patrick Abankwaba had some advice for businesses and other corporate institutions. If you're a business person, too, you should also have a resolution of making sure that structures in your business are working this year. If you are running the company as a CEO, and you don't allow other departments to work because you are the owner. This year, there should be a clear cut distinction. Otherwise, when anything happens to you and your ideas, the business will collapse. Some of the common financial resolutions mostly made at the beginning of the year include saving more, investing, improving credit score, and creating a personal budget.